Hey everybody, this is Buck Ray, and this is my video review of Resistance 3. Um, as far as the story is concerned, this takes place four years after the events of Resistance 2. Um, the new focus is on Joseph Capelli. Um, he's a family man from Haven, Oklahoma. Um, and he's just trying to survive. He's trying to keep his family alive. Uh, the Chimera have basically taken over. And they're just kind of rolling through now, just trying to squash out any uh, remaining resistance. Uh, this is very early on in the game. Um, I'm not going to uh, ruin anything for anybody. Uh, I'm just going to talk about uh, basically the mechanics and things like that. And um, just show some footage from probably halfway through the game, uh, from the beginning to halfway through the game. I'm not going to uh, ru ruin anything for anybody. Um, this is, like I said, very early on. This is one of the first boss fights. Um, now you see uh, it just had a, uh, a thing pop up there saying that uh, the bullseye hit le rank level 2. Um, you can level up your guns now. Um, and of course, the uh, as you level up, you unlock certain things, new, new more abilities and things like that. Like with the bullseye here, you can actually tag three enemies at once um, once you get it leveled up. Uh, now the weapon wheel is back, so that means all the, you know, res resistance to, um, it was just kind of an aggravation from a the standpoint that you couldn't uh, bring any gun you wanted. Um, you can only carry a couple at a time, but the wheel is back, so you can bas basically bring any weapon in the game and use uh, whatever tactics you want for each scenario. Um, it's pretty cool like that. Now a lot of... Um, a lot of this game is set, uh, the environments have a handful of different ways you can go about uh, taking on the uh, objectives, but it's definitely on a smaller scale than Resistance 2, um, but that doesn't take away anything from the game. I mean, the, the game's phenomenal. Um, I had more fun playing this than I did Resistance 2 for sure. This is a way better game than Resistance 2. Um, it's more focused storyline. Uh, like I said, it's on... Um, Joe Capelli here and his family, um, and it's it's definitely uh, leans towards an emotional story here. I mean, he's basically leaving his child and wife behind. Um, early on in the game here, you find out that he needs to go to New York to uh, to stop them. Um, there's things going on in New York that they need to stop, and that's kind of where it starts out for him. Uh, he leaves his family behind and uh, basically goes to try to save save America. <laughs> Um, and a, a lot of points like this, you're going to be tagging people around, you're going to be following people around. Now, as far as the AI is concerned, um, I think the enemy AI is, is, is amazing. I mean, it's really good. Um, uh, but the problem I'm having, uh, with it so far is the AI of your, uh, companions here. Like this guy that's leading your way. There, there's there's going to be, there's many times I run into, um, where they just don't respond. They just kind of stand near the door that they have to open. You can't even open it. And they'll just stand there for a few minutes. They'll just stand there for not a few minutes, but, I mean, enough time that you got to search around and see that uh, there may be another enemy left alive that you got to kill. Um, and then it'll finally trigger it, which is... Um, and now, now as far as the uh, uh, getting to the point where you can... Um, the levels are large enough where you can take multiple routes here. Um, the guy that's basically uh, leading me is down here underneath the building kind of, uh, you know, fighting the Chimera down there. And I've jumped up here on a ladder on top of the building and I'm able to kind of uh, get him in a little bit of a crossfire. Um, and it's pretty, uh, I mean, it's pretty cool that you can use all kinds of different tactics like that. Um, and of course there, I was talking about the weapon wheel, there it is right there. Um, now, when you kill these, uh, when you kill the Chimera, they actually make a um, kind of like a battle scream when you kill them, and it it's it's cool, it sounds cool, and uh, um, it kind of lets you know when you're, when you're firing when you can stop, basically, because you hear the yell, you know they're dead, you keep you move on. Um, sometimes the animation takes a minute; uh, they'll spin around or something like that, and you're not 100 sure if they're dead, but once you hear the yell, you know they are, so you can kind of move on. See, there's your buddy down there, um, and you take the high road here. And there's a, there's a handful of new guns in the game. Obviously, anything by Insomniac, the, the guns are uh, really creative and, and cool and fun to use. Um, and obviously, Resistance 3 is no different.
Now they got the classics like uh, the bullseye and the auger and uh, things like that. Uh, now see, there's the, um, like I was mentioning earlier, there was the uh, level up there by the bullseye, so now it's level three. And basically what uh, that can do now is tag three enemies at once with that tag with the alternate uh, ability with the gun. Uh, it can actually tag three enemies at once, which is pretty cool. Now, of course, there wouldn't be Resistance 3 without these huge, without these huge bosses to battle, which, uh, which is one of the best parts of the game for me. It's, they're so challenging and fun. And again, I mean, I could have taken, I could have tried to take this guy out on the ground all over, but uh, I come up here to high ground to try to take him down. Now there's one um, one thing I'm having with the game um, is if I kind of rush into a uh, situation, I kind of get ahead of the AI to an extent, and all of a sudden uh, there'll be you know a pop up, a wave of uh, Chimera pop up around me, um, and it's kind of like I pass this invisible line of uh, a wave. You know that whenever you pass that, they send another wave. So it. Uh, um, I mean, it's aggravating, but it's not game-breaking or anything like that. I go, I might never... Don't make me choose, Joe. Don't do that to me. And obviously, here's his family, and uh, she's basically telling him uh, that he needs to go to New York um, to leave him and uh, try to save uh, save mankind. This kind of lets you know exactly what uh, what he's up against. Uh, I mean, you feel kind of helpless when you're looking at something like that. And there he goes off to New York. anyone there okay now that now as far as um, uh, levels that I think went on way too long this is one of them. Um, for a game that gives you a whole bunch of different ways to tackle a situation being stuck on a boat like this um, it was a cool change of pace um, when, when it started obviously um, but it just drags out way too long and it it got to the point where I was just ready to get it over with um, but you know they're normally very good at pacing but this was the only uh, this is actually the only part of the entire campaign that I did not enjoy I would say not enjoy as much I mean getting to blast Chimera with a shotgun like that it's always fun
this weapon here is awesome. It's uh, it has an alternate fire where it basically uh, sends out kind of like a mine, and uh, it just shoots out electricity all all over, and actually pulls in any enemy in the vicinity, um, and just vaporizes them. I mean, it's aw It's when you're getting swarmed, uh, you pop that down once or twice, and I mean that'll save your day. It's it's pretty cool. Like right right here, it's coming in. And it just kind of sucks everybody in from all over. It's pretty cool. Just pops them all over. Now, obviously, uh, no review of Resistance 3 would be complete without talking about the uh, multiplayer. Um, now, you can see you got tons of different modes here. Um, everything you would expect um, to find uh, breach chain reaction um, are pretty cool um, you know specific to uh, resistance 3 they're, they're actually pretty cool um, now when you're playing uh, um, obviously as you go you unlock all kinds of different weapons and loadouts and things like that um, and you skirt you earn points as you play and then obviously you can use those to uh, unlock certain uh, abilities, weapons, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, new skins, um, even cheats for single player if you're into that. Now the single player, or the uh, multiplayer rather, has been shrunk down to only 16 players, 8 and 8, which when I first heard about that I was really bummed out because I love the um, the huge battles of like 30, what was it, 32 on 32, 64 players, I mean it was, uh, it was awesome and I thought I was going to be bummed out by this, but uh, the way the maps are built, it, it's perfect, I mean there's always enemies around, I mean it's not like uh, you're having to trek long distances to find anybody. Um, when you got a full match going on, it's it's pr pretty hectic and definitely fun. And of course, you run ribbons and things like that. Now, this footage I've taken is when I not too far into the multiplayer. Um, I was concentrating on campaign, so I haven't tackled a lot of the multiplayer. Um, so I think I only got up to like level three here. Like right now, I got the reload, reload, and I'm pretty And you kind of you earn points for like everything. Like if you damage that, like damaging that guy, and then somebody finishing him off, I'm gonna get 20 XP for that. Kind of an assist, which is cool. So nobody can, somebody come in and steal your kill away from you. At least you're gonna get some points out of it. And this is the. Um, basically shows the skins and, and all kinds of things, the titles and stuff that you can unlock with the points that you earn. And this is more of the stuff here. Like I said, there's cheat codes and skins and videos on how they made the game and stuff like that. And again, the, the trophies and and uh, medals and things like that you can you can receive. Um, again, I uh, didn't play a multiplayer too long, so I don't have a lot of those filled in. But it definitely gives you a sense of accomplishment when you want, when you when you do something and it pops up on the corner there that you got that it's you know that you earned a trophy or a medal. It's pretty cool. Corner there that you got that it's. You know that you earned a trophy or a medal it's pretty cool so there you have it that's my review of resistance 3 i gave it a 9 out of 10 uh, it's a must-have for any ps3 owner the single player game is amazing um, the multiplayer uh, is awesome i wish i could have had more time with that uh, before i put this review up uh, but i can't wait to dive into the multiplayer more um, so there you have it. Um, if you would, just please subscribe to my, uh, my channel. I'm going to be putting a lot of uh, unboxings and a lot of uh, first impression reviews on my page from here on out. Um, so please subscribe, and thank you for watching.